This is a short video about a small change in the Blender's interface in weight paint mode. It concerns the mirroring of weights. So if you're working on a symmetrical character, this will be important. This change happened in Blender 2.91, which is the stable version of Blender as I'm recording this. And uh, these changes are being further refined in Blender 2.92, which is currently in alpha or beta, but it will be uh, stable very soon. It may appear like a very minor thing, but it can be potentially confusing. So I wanted to cover it. And I also want to cover it because I made four beginner tutorials uh, very recently all about weight painting and they are still valid. I still recommend you watch them, but this interface change could make it harder to follow certain parts of the old videos. Here I have from left to right Blender 2.90, Blender 2.91 and Blender 2.90. 9.2 alpha. I already have a rigged uh, character in all of them, so I'll do what I did in my earlier tutorials. I'll select the armature, shift select the character, go to weight paint mode, expand the end panel and switch to tool. For the actual tool I want the draw brush and I want to make sure that the symmetry panel and the options panel are visible. I have auto normalized enabled. You can watch the beginner tutorials if you don't know why I like to do that. And so I'm going to control click on one of the control bones and I'm going to position my character in this weird position. I have X symmetry activated for the armature so I move both legs at the same time. That is not that important. I just want both legs to be in more or less the same pose. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing in Blender 2.91 and 92. Okay, first I want to remind you how things worked until Blender 2.90. It's only going to take a minute, but if you're an experienced user, you can skip this part. So I'm going to expand the Blender 2.90 window. And let's show the end panel. If I wanted to fix these deformation in the legs, which I uh, made very bad on purpose, I would select, I would control click this uh, bone and then maybe set a strength of 0.2 or so. And with the draw brush, I'm going to click a couple of times and we'll start improving these weights. And now I'm only working on one side of the mesh. If I'm working this way, then I would have to manually select the other one and fix it as well. Since this uh, character is symmetrical, we would obviously want this process to be automated. You may try to do this using these mirror options on the symmetry. So you could choose X mirror and that would be a mistake. This X mirror option on the symmetry will paint weights for the selected bone on the other side of the mesh. This produces weird results as you can see and that's not what we want. So I'm going to undo. Let's get rid of this X mirror and tick the X mirror checkbox under options. Now if I paint weights on this left side for the left bone, Blender automatically paints weights on the other side and assigns them to the bone on the other side. And that is perfect. So this is how we did things until Blender 2.90. Now let's look at the changes. They are in the symmetry and in the options panels. In Blender 2.91, the X mirror option was moved under the symmetry panel over here, and it was renamed to Vertex Groups X Symmetry. So if you want to paint uh, weights on a symmetrical character, this is the option that you want now. Notice that where we used to have X mirror, we now have another option that simply says X. This X now activates the X mirror option. So if I untick it here, X mirror will be deactivated. If I tick it again, it will be activated. And if I uncheck it here, then it will be unticked below. So these two options are linked. But if you have this panel contracted like this and you're an experienced user, you could just tick this option and try to work and you'll be uh, getting weird results. So be mindful of that. So again, if you want to paint symmetrical characters, you want to deactivate mirror, X mirror, 
both here on the symmetry and under options, and you want to use vertex groups x symmetry. As you can see, these changes can be uh, confusing and they don't make a lot of sense. In fact, I think these changes maybe are breaking the topology mirror option over here. In Blender 2.90 and earlier, the topology mirror is linked to this X mirror option. So that means that in Blender 2.91, it should be linked to vertex groups X symmetry, but it is not. It is linked to this other mirror option. And that's not right. And I think the developers also realized that these changes kind of missed the mark. So in Blender 2.92, things have been improved. But just keep in mind, if you're using Blender 2.91, you'll have to deal with these uh, kind of options. Okay, let's quickly look at Blender 2.92. Here is what happened. First, this vertex group X symmetry was renamed to vertex uh, group X. And so the name has changed a little bit, but it does exactly the same thing. Another important change is that topological mirror has been also moved to this symmetry panel. And now it is correctly linked to this uh, vertex group X. If I untick it, then topology mirror will be grayed out. And another change is that this kind of confusing X option has been completely removed from the options. And so in Blender 2.92, if you want to paint a symmetrical character, you would uncheck this type of mirroring you, and you would use vertex group X. And that's much better in my opinion. The interface in Blender 2.92 is nicely cleaned up. And that's what uh, you should expect to see in the future. Although I wouldn't be surprised if there are other changes that are done in this area. If there are, I'm going to make another video. And that's it. These changes are not huge, but they have the potential to confuse a lot of people. Now, if you have another minute, I'll show you another change that you may find interesting. The interface changes were the main thing that I wanted to show, but there is another subtle but important improvement in Blender 2.92. Many of you probably know of a very annoying behavior in Blender when pressing Ctrl Z to undo. Sometimes the undo function reverts not only the last operation, but also any settings that you set before it. This is not just limited to weight paint mode, it happens in other parts of Blender as well, but fortunately this will become a thing of the past very soon. Here is an example of this in Blender 2.92. I'm going to expand the window. Currently, my strength setting is set to 0.2. I'm going to set it to 0.8, for example, and paint. And let's say that I didn't like what I painted, so I'm going to press Ctrl Z. And so the painting was reverted, but also the strength setting was reset to 0.2. And that is a very strange behavior, and literally nobody likes this. But it happens because of some limitation of Blender's undo code or whatever. If I do the same thing in Blender 2.91, again, set the strength to 0.8, for example, click, undo, again, the stroke is undone and also the strength is reset. But if I do this in Blender 2.92, set the strength to 0.8, click undo, you'll see that the painting stroke was reverted, but the strength change was not. And that change is also seemingly very small, but it actually resolves a very annoying issue, so I'm very happy with this. For now, this change is only in Blender 2.92, which is in alpha. So if you like this, you could download an experimental version of Blender, or you could wait for Blender 2.92 to become stable which is going to be soon. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful and save you some time and frustration. Especially the interface changes can be a little bit of a nuisance. Okay, if you like the video, please click like and subscribe and talk to you next time.